Hundreds of elementary students flooded the gym at Central Lakes College today in Brainerd to watch some of their favorite stories and movies brought to life. As Mel Meyer reports, the young students learned about more than just body language as the, as the actors showed off their American Sign Language skills. The college invited area schools to bring their students to see Peter Pan, Hansel and Gretel, Frozen, and if you give a mouse a cookie. Okay, woo, are y'all ready? For their spring semester showcase, the ASL2 students lended a hand while the ASL4 students lended them a voice. Cut. So their voices have to match the characters and if they're a boy or a girl and it's, it's a whole lot of elements that have to combine together to make this whole thing successful for the children. Many times those hard of hearing or deaf are left to find their own means to communicate with others. It's a great experience to have the sign and the voicing so that deaf and hearing people can enjoy it together. It's great. For some, this might be their first experience with the language. I really hope that they take away um, all the deaf culture pieces that that we're teaching today. Culture pieces like shorthand for people's names. His name is Mouse. His name sign is two M's on top of your head. Or how to get someone else's attention. Just stop your feet. Hopefully, the young students can use this crash course in their everyday lives. We have a lot of deaf people in our community, and we can reach out and, and help them and communicate with them and uh, include them in everything we do. Just to have that communication barrier between the hearing and deaf and hard of hearing taken away. It just, it's mind blowing to see how your life can change just by taking one class. In Brainerd, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The college students are able to pick out which plays they will perform, so next year the elementary students will have a fresh round of stories and science. Cool event. It certainly is. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.